As designers, we have to find lots of things like logos, icons, images, and so on. And this can often be a really time consuming task. You may want them for your website, you may want them for an application, a phone application, or maybe just some graphics you need to create for an actual design. Well, today I've got a couple of absolutely free resources that could speed up the whole time you need to take to actually grab these different assets. Let's take a look at them in no particular order. Now, before we do, if you like this kind of content, let me know down in the comment section down below. And if you've got any resources you think you'd love to share, again, let me know those down in the comment section so I can take a look at them and then hopefully share those in the future when I do another video like this. So let's start off with SVGL. Now, SVGL is basically a site you can grab common logos in an SVG format. The beauty of this is totally scalable. No worry about loss of quality. Let me show you. Okay, so this is the site, and as you can see, we currently have 464 logos here. This is probably more tech and design orientated than your general Coca-Cola kind of logos and things. So if you're in the tech industry, this could be a really good resource. But for example, you can see everything is broken down on the left-hand side. So things like CMSs, you can see there's our WordPress, Webflow, and so on. You've got things like Strapi. Come into different frameworks inside you. You've got your Angular, Bootstrap, and so on. All the different logos you could want. If you want things like different languages, you can see this inside you. So your CSS, your HTML, the new CSS. You're going to kind of get the idea. Then we've got the option to simply go and copy it, download it, or link to it. So let's take this CSS one as an example. We can go and just download it. There we go, that's now been downloaded. So I'll open that up with my default app, which is Pixelmator Pro in this example. But as you can see, if we take a look at the layers, this is all broken down into a typical SVG. So it's fully scalable. Everything is editable. Each of the pieces, you can see we can easily drag those around. So this means that if we want to change the size of this for any reason, let's just double this. You can see there's absolutely no loss of quality whatsoever. You can select everything inside there, group it together, and then you can easily just resize this as you need to with no loss in quality. Also, incredibly small file sizes if you're using this on your website. It doesn't get bigger file size as the file gets larger in dimensions. It's all just maths. Simple as that. So that's a really cool website and one I would recommend you take a look at if you need logos like this. That's svgl.app. Go and take a look. It's pretty cool. Now, before we go any further, a quick word from today's video sponsor. Are you looking for a hosting partner that takes speed and security seriously? Then look no further than Kinsta. Their hosting not only delivers lightning fast performance and top tier security, but also provides you with powerful My Kinsta tools. These tools are designed to empower you, making it easy to manage your WordPress site with absolute confidence. And when you need help, they have a WordPress experts available 24-7. No bots, just real answers and real support from people who understand WordPress. It's no wonder they're rated 4.8 stars on G2 with over 740 reviews from satisfied users. This high rating and positive feedback should give you the confidence to trust in their services. Kinsta, the hosting solution that's fast, secure, and always backed by real support. Get started now using the link in the description below. Okay, let's get back on with today's video. Next on the list are icons. Now, you can find lots and lots of places to grab icons, but not all icons are created equal. Some are much better than others. This is where Phosphor icons is one of the ones that I recommend. This is one I use an awful lot. There's over 9,000 different icons on here covering lots and lots of things that you may want to do. Great when you're creating web applications, custom dashboards, or just websites in general. Let's take a quick look. So if we explore the icons, you can see we can easily choose between the different styles, so your thin, light, bold, fill, duo. So let's just choose the fill one. You can see it looks pretty good. Choose the duo tone. Again, you can see it looks pretty good. So you can find something that matches what you want. Need to change your color scheme, not a problem. Change your color scheme. As you can see, now that ties in. So if you've got a, a blue, purple kind of color for your site, you want icons to match, there you go, you've got them. Same thing goes if we change this over to something like bold. You can see it still retains that color. Change the sizes. All pretty cool. Want to search for something? Like profile, for example. Job done. Then choose the one that you want, and you can download this as an SVG. You can download it as an SVG raw, or you can copy it. You've also got a range of different ways in which you can work with this, like React, Web, View. You kind of get the idea. There's tons of great icons here, and it's definitely one that I would recommend you take a look at. Phosphor icons, 
definitely one that I use an awful lot on different projects for myself and for clients. Pretty cool, check it out. Now, if 9,000 icons is not enough for you, you may wanna take a look at icons, which is icons.js.org. Links for everything is down in the description anyway. This has thousands and thousands and thousands. You kind of get the idea. You can see they're broken down into different kind of groups, things like material symbols, material symbols, light icons, material design. You get the idea. Lucid Labs, Majestic Icons, Feather Icons, and so on. There's tons here in different sizes and different styles. So for example, let's take a look at something like Material Symbols, open this up. You can see this has got over 14,000 icons in this library. Click to load them all or load more, and you kind of get the idea. You can break them down to the various different components, and then all the different options for how you can access them are all listed underneath. This is an absolutely massive resource. Personally still, I like the Phosphor icons. It's definitely one that I found to be more useful in my use case, but you can see yourself, there's an awful lot here. One thing's like privacy and security, you can filter that down and there's a bunch of icons inside you then for that particular section. Again, you've got your different variants. So if you want sharp, rounded, regular, online, outline rounded, outlines, get the idea. Then all on the left-hand side, there's even more options down here. So like minor UI icons. So again, you've got your regular, your solid. There's over 1,100 icons in this particular pack, so we can load more in. Again, you can click on one that you want, and then all the ways you can access it are all listed down below. If you want to grab it with color, you can grab it with color. All the options you should need. But these are just great ways of being able to access tons and tons and tons of icons. And also, like I say, the logos. But this is just some of the ones that I use on a pretty much daily basis. Let me have your suggestions down in the comment section down below. And while there are lots and lots of different icon libraries and things that I could sort of go over and show you, I only want to recommend the ones that I find useful and that I've used myself, so I've got real world experience of them. But share yours with me in the comment section down below. All applicable links in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.